हेलो नमस्कार एंड वेलकम बैक टू एविएशन एवी आई एम शांतनु एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर अ वेरी अनटच टॉपिक इन एविएशन व्हिच इज द लोकलाइजर क्रिटिकल एंड सेंसिटिव एरिया सो बकल अप योर सीट बेल्ट एंड विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बिफोर नोइंग एनीथिंग अबाउट द क्रिटिकल एंड द सेंसिटिव एरिया let's understand what is a localizer a localizer is an antenna array setup to provide horizontal guidance to the pilot and is a part of instrument landing system which guides the aircraft along the axis of the runway meaning it's an instrument which is used to align the aircraft with the center line of the runway now let's understand where the localizer is placed or the location of the localizer the localizer is placed at the opposite end of the runway in use approximately 1000 feet from the physical end of the runway if you see in this picture if this this side is the runway in use for runway 14 and this is the end of the runway 14 so physical end of the runway from there 1000 feet the localizer antenna array is placed if you want to understand the functioning of the localizer then we have a separate video for it as ils instrument landing system in which we have explained the functioning of the localizer the glide path and the distance measuring equipment the link of which is attached in the description what is localizer critical and sensitive area the localizer critical area is a area of defined dimension about the localizer antennas where vehicles including aircraft are excluded during all ils operations the localizer sensitive area is an area where the parking and or movement of the vehicles including aircraft is controlled to prevent the possibility of un acceptable interference of the ils signal during ils operations in the next slide you could see the area from which you'll get a better understanding now in this diagram we could see the area surrounding the localizer this is the localizer and this is the runway about the runway we have different area shaded which are the critical and the sensitive area so how this area is defined critical and sensitive area is normally calculated at the planning stage prior to ils installation using guidance given in the iq nx10 volume 1 the detailed explanation of the working of the localizer is explained in the video of ils the link of which is attached in the description now why is localizer critical and sensitive area created large reflecting objects within the ils coverage volume with the fixed objects or vehicles including the aircrafts can potentially cause the degradation of the signal in space the amount of degradation is a function of size location and orientation of the reflecting surface and ils antenna characteristics meaning that as in the previous slide i have shown you the diagram of critical and sensitive area coverage any object in that particular area may reflect the signal may reflect the frequencies coming from the localizer and going to the aircraft so the object of defining such critical and sensitive area is to prevent such degradation of signals and ensure that the aircraft can rely on the signals in space so if we control the amount of movement of aircraft vehicle and object in that area of critical and sensitive area then we can control and we can ensure that the aircraft getting the signal is good and he can rely or the pilot can rely on that signal now here i am emphasizing on holding point because holding point is an area or a point which is defined by the reference of this localizer what is the holding point a designated position intended to protect a runway an obstacle limitation surface or an ils mls critical sensitive area meaning the localizer critical sensitive area or the glide path critical sensitive area at which taxiing aircraft and vehicles shall stop and hold unless otherwise authorized by the aerodrome control tower 
meaning this is an area where the permission to move in is only given by the aerodrome control tower because it's an area of critical importance now we have the table as well as the diagram in front of us so what does this table say the columns have aircraft and vehicle height ground vehicles or the vehicles having height less than or equal to 6 meters the other column has medium aircraft or the aircrafts having height greater than 6 meters but less than or equal to 14 meters large aircraft having height greater than 14 meters and equal to or less than 20 meters and very large aircrafts having their heights as greater than 20 meters and less than equal to 25 meters this is the height of the tail of the aircraft and for the vehicles we can have the vehicles such as excavators which can have a height or they can expand their boom up to 6 meters and now the row we have localizer antenna aperture further divided as medium aperture and large aperture same for all the columns now this row says critical area xc critical area zc and critical area yc the dimensions of which are further given this is for cat 1 operations similarly we have for cat 2 operations and similarly we have for cat 3 operations so now we'll study up for the cat 3 and we'll look for the values in the diagram so that we could understand how this area is defined we'll do for cat 3 and rest is easy after getting the knowledge of cat 3 we can easily find out for cat 1 and cat 2 so now let's find the values let's understand the table and define the area so if we are using ground vehicles then we have critical area for cat 3 condition as xc zc and yc as shown in the figure this is the localizer the in front of it is the xc the back side is zc this small part and yc is the this area this area starting from the center line and in both the sides so for ground vehicles we have xc as 75 if we are using an antenna of medium aperture aperture means using having an element of 12 to 15 or large will have 16 or above so zc meaning this area is 10 meters for both the conditions and yc meaning this area on both side of the runway center line is 15 for medium and 20 meters for large now moving to the next column which defines the medium aircraft having height height of the tail more than 6 meters but less than equal to 14 meters so for that xc is 200 this area increases to 200 and remains same for large aperture antenna 200 meters zc is this area now here it is written no aircraft movement behind localizer antenna in india in india we don't operate any aircraft movement behind the localizer in foreign countries we operate so this area is defined now yc this area on the both sides of the runway center line is 25 meters and 25 meters so further the next two columns are given now we should calculate the sensitive area for cat 3 xs and y1 this is the xs area and this is the y1 area about the runway center line xs is parallel to the runway and sorry the y1 is about the runway center line so xs is 100 meters for ground vehicles and y1 is 15 meters for ground vehicles if we are using a medium aperture antenna but if we are using a large aperture antenna then we have no sensitive area meaning that it is, it is better if we go for a larger aperture antenna now in this column where we have aircraft tail height of 6 meters 
more than 6 meters but less than equal to 14 meters we have this area as 900 meters 900 meters starting from this in front of the localizer and y1 this area extends to 50 meters on both sides of the runway center line and if you're using a large aperture, aperture antenna then we have no sensitive area meaning using a large aperture antenna is a is of a great benefit now if we move further here we have an element k to be defined so uh, first we should know that if we are using a medium aperture antenna for large aircraft having a tail height of more than 40 meters and less than equal to 20 meters then we have x s as x sensitive as 3100 meters for both conditions for medium and large and y1 as 140 meters into k and 120 meters into k for larger aperture antenna now what is k is defined in the next slide note one critical area semi width yc should exceed the actual physical dimension of the localizer antenna array by at least 10 meters literally on both the sides in portion the localizer antenna array and the stop end of the runway which means that if this is the localizer and this is the YC starting from the center line of the runway on both the sides. If this dimension is not exceeding the localizer array in length, then we should provide 10 meters extra area on both the side to maintain YC. Note 2 for systems with near field monitoring antennas vehicles must not enter between localizer glide path and monitoring areas note 3 localizer antenna aperture size for medium we have 12 to 15 elements and for large we have 16 and above note 4 the value of k now the value of k is localizer to threshold distance divided by 3300 meters or 3000 300 meters hole under root now for your respective airport you can calculate the distance between your localizer and the threshold then divide that respective value by 3300 meters take the square root of that particular value which will give the value of k now coming back to the part where we have to multiply the value of k after calculation of the value of k multiply it by 140 or 120 depending on the medium or larger aperture antenna to find the value of y1 which is sensitive area and same goes for the next so after getting the knowledge of the localizer critical and sensitive area it becomes a responsibility of the aerodrome operator to define this area according to the type of vehicle being used and according to the aircraft the aerodrome is capable to handle so that he could have an optimi optimized area to operate. Hope you have enjoyed the video and stay tuned to Evision Avi to get these kind of informative videos. Do like, share, subscribe our work because your support is our motivation. Thank you.